The sociologist John Gardner wrote that great gifts unused, even unsuspected, are hardly a rarity. Every one of us, from the most accomplished to the most common, was born with unique gifts, talents, abilities, aptitudes. We were all created with purpose and for a purpose. In the future, after high school, I'm going to go to college, probably Albany State. I'm going to major in criminal justice, and then I'm going to go get a master's, and I'm going to work with juveniles. I want to work with juveniles because I know a few people in prison, like my uncle's in prison, and I have people my age I know in prison, and I would want to work with the juveniles and counsel them. You know, to make sure like they know that all hope is not gone. I was born in Savannah. I first started out on 45th Street, that's where we lived. And then we moved to Fraser Homes. Then that house, it, it burned. And so we moved to Yamacraw. And then we moved back to Fraser Homes. I've watched Carlethe and her sisters go through a lot of changes in their life from the death of their mother to the death of their grandmother who took over raising them after their mother died, to the death of their uncle, to imprisonment of an uncle. These children have really, really been through a lot. In the beginning, we picked her up and brought her into our home and kind of tutored her in our work in the evenings. And uh, it just turned out that we never took her home one evening. So we kept them here really to help them with their schoolwork and uh, help them to mature. And I guess one of the biggest changes uh, in Carlethea, she is now more focused on uh, becoming an adult. I've always told people that if children just had an opportunity, were given an opportunity to excel, that I think many of them would be able to go far in life. And that's all it takes sometimes, it's just the opportunity. Take them out of an environment, place them in an environment where they can excel. And I think that will change lives. Arete exists to open the door to educational opportunity where before none existed. The students and the families that we serve don't have the means to provide themselves of that opportunity. They are locked into an educational paradigm that's tied to their zip code only. And so what Arete is able to do is to provide the means for them to choose a school that best meets the needs of their student, of their child. The way that we're able to provide these opportunities are through legislative programs in specific states, whether tax credits are offered or a rebate, and our partners are able to give us their donation that we turn in to scholarships to create these opportunities. Another similar way that we're expanding is just through straight charitable donations where we'll be able to turn those donations into scholarships across the nation to be able to repeat these stories of discovered gifts, of changed communities, of potential reached. So, so in our work in preparing to launch Arete, we stumbled upon a quote that has really haunted us in our work and enlivened our vision. The World War II veteran and statesman John Gardner wrote, great gifts, unused, even unsuspected, are hardly a rarity. He said that no doubt there have always been a great many men and women of extraordinary talent who have died with all their music in them. We heard that, he said, that's it. That's who we're helping. We're, we're helping those unsuspected kids. Nobody expects anything out of them. They don't expect that they have any talent, that they don't have anything to give. But we know that that's not right because they've been imbued from God with unique gifts. And it's our duty, really, to provide an opportunity for them to discover those gifts 
to help fan them into a flame, to help them flourish, not only for themselves, but also for the communities where they live. So we need more partners who align with our vision, that believe in what we're doing, so that we can open the doors to educational opportunity to more students like Carlethia, so that we can repeat her story, so that we can change communities, so that we can change generations. Arete is on the cutting edge. It's the forerunner to what we really need in America. We need to give underserved, underprivileged youth an opportunity to achieve. There are a lot of diamonds in the rough waiting on an opportunity, waiting on tutelage, waiting on someone to personally impact their lives. 